Hi, this is John Wild, and welcome to my messy desk. Of course, check out that new keyboard I have. Isn't that cool? Hold on, let me see if I can show you it this way. It glows. Isn't that just so cool? Of course, at every man's desk, you need to have cigars, coffee mug, Windex. What else we got down here? Lots of wires. All kinds of things on my desk. Welcome to my mess. But this is the one thing that I want to talk about now. And I know I can't get it all in here. I'm sorry. The way this is set up this time, we're going to try to do our best. I'm going to do an unboxing of my Chug Chug. What is a Chug Chug? Well, you'll find out, I guess, now, won't you? It has to do with a uh, model railroad, and it's a collectible. And hopefully this will turn out to be a spectacular thing where I ordered this off of eBay, so who knows. So we're going to cut this. It could be a spectacular thing, or it could be all in pieces in here. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm always skeptical about ordering on eBay because you're ordering it from people, you know, and people suck. All right. Uh, I didn't quite get that. Let's try to get some more of that tape off there. Uh, oh, man. This dude knows how to tape up boxes. I think you can save some money on tape, dude. Okay, so we're going to open this up. I'm going to put it down here. I don't know how to do this. This is my first unboxing ever, can you tell? We're going to open it up. Oh, he's got a letter for me. Let's see what he says here. Oh, it's just a receipt. It says, thank you. Please leave feedback. All right, so we're going to open it up. we got a lot of... Now, me being an environmentalist, you know, I'm going, to re I'm going to recycle this. Where do you recycle that? Bubble wrap. <laughs> we'll have some fun with it first. Take it back to the Winn-Dixie or the Publix with your shopping bags that you shouldn't have anyway. More bubble wrap. All right, here it goes. Oh, boy. There we go. Here we go. This is, oh, I can hear it. Lots more tape. Boy, I'll tell you right now, a lot of tape on this son of a gun. I don't want to hurt what's inside here, so i got to be very careful. And we're going to... All right, now he's got it wrapped in newspaper. Let's unwrap the newspaper. Bitcoins are down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, I'm just kidding. Got a U.S. Marine saying. It says, uh, Baby Ruth Chug Chug. Right there. All right. Baby Ruth Chug Chug. What the hell is John Wild Order now? We'll never know because the mother... Oops, I'm not supposed to cuss. Oh, the nice guy wrapped it so nicely. And there it is. Holy moly. Tyco Chug Chug. Now I'm going to go off camera here because Amber's here. I want to show her. Here it is. It's, as I was saying, it's not in its original. Uh, it's not the original Chug Chug. But it is a second generation. And it's in its original box, which is very collectible. So if you have a Chug Chug like this. Uh, in its original box, you got something. So we're going to try to take it out and take a look at it and solve some mysteries for you. I'm going to be very careful though, because I don't want to ruin this original box at all, rip it or anything like that. Although I will never sell this. This will be willed to whoever is lucky enough to get my stuff when I die. And with the promise that they are never going to sell it either. All right, here we go. Wow, actually, as, as I pop it open, I discovered that it is an original. It is a first-run Chug Chug. I was duped in the bot package. I'll tell you why. The second generation does not have this it, in the roof ends right here. It doesn't have this extra roof to it. So this one does. So this is an original. And look how shiny it is. Now, it's old. These came out in, 
late 70s, early 80s. And if you can look a little bit on here, I don't know if you can tell it on the video, but I have a little bit of patina shown, a little bit of fade, a little bit of yellowing. And that happens with these plastic ones, okay? Looking at the top, looks pretty good. No repaint, that's good. No scratches, that's excellent. Looking at the bottom, we'll talk about what this thing is later. Looks like it's got all the wheels, they turn good. The hooking mechanism is good. And it's the right type for this HO. So as I was saying, great condition. Now this is why they call it a chug chug, if you can hear it. Down the bottom here, they got this big wheel. And when it rolls, really not really good to do it, not on the track, but it chug chugs. It's really kind of hard to hear it, but. It's kind of hard to hear it. Now on a track, it just goes chug 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 chug. Like, like the old steam engine sound. It goes chug, 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 chug. Some people say it's just a noisemaker. Just a chug, 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 chug. And this is also really good to run under your, tra under your tree at Christmas time. Because the chug, chug, chug almost mimics Santa's sleigh. Um, others say it's actually a track cleaner. Because if you feel the bottom of it, it's kind of abrasive. And if you look real carefully, if it's been used, you can see where it's run on the track. There's a line there. There's a line there. Some people say it's a track cleaner. So it cleans your track and makes your little noise, your chug, 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 chug. So if anybody knows anything better than that, if anybody can explain exactly what the wheel's all about, is it just a noisemaker, is it a track cleaner, is it both, which I guess it might be, why don't you comment, let me know. But there you go, I'm very proud of this one. Yeah, as the story goes, I had a train set when I was a child and a fire in a house a few years ago, I lost my entire train set that I collected from a childhood it's all gone now and uh, basically I'm trying to rebuild and this is one of my first purchases rebuilding my old train set so if anybody has HO or in scale trains that they don't want Lionel trains any kind of trains in any condition you want to donate them to me wonderful my gosh because I want to put together a museum uh, or if you want to try to sell them it's rare that I buy I like donations well, maybe we can work out a deal. But this was a good one. Keep your eyes open. If you ever see one of these, they're very collectible. Baby Ruth Chug Chugs. And I was lucky enough to get it in its original box. Lovely. This is going to go on display for a little while on my shelf. All right. So y'all take care. And um, I'll do more unboxings as I get more collectible stuff. Hopefully my nails will be cleaner than that. Sorry. I got a dirty nail there. Hey, I was working on a plant earlier trying to save uh, Amber's plants, and uh, I think they're dying, so anyway. All right, take care. Bye-bye.